We are now looking at a brave new world, a new world of Dead Sea Scrolls scholarship. I knew this was the way that it could be seen by the entire world, and I thought it was extremely important. First time we can see, we can read Hebrew like it was written 2,000 years ago. This is the most significant breakthrough around the oldest known biblical document in the world. The Neon Levy Dead Sea Scrolls Digitization Project is a project that deals with the uh, documentation and imaging of the Dead Sea Scrolls for posterity. The miracle takes place here. This facility of the Israel Antiquities Authority in Jerusalem has an imaging system like none other in the world. The unique, amazing thing about this system is the amazing data captured with the system, which we can read and analyze in many different ways. The uncovering of the Dead Sea Scrolls in the 1950s set off a great deal of excitement. However, with the passing of time, the Israel Antiquities Authority had to make painstaking measures to preserve these scrolls to ensure that they are kept under the most stringent conditions. The first time that my husband and I came to Israel and we saw the fragments and they were not in very good condition. The new digitization project creates a new reality. The idea behind it is, first of all, to preserve the scrolls for future generations, and secondly, but just as important, to open the scrolls online to the public and the scholarly world alike. Each fragment is imaged on both sides in 12 different wavelengths, seven in the visible range and five in the near-infrared and visible range. This extracts both physical and textual information from the fragment. We image every single fragment. We have 15,000 fragments, all of which we intend to image in the best possible way. The real news is this highly sensitive photography and imaging system that enables detecting written characters which have become invisible to the naked eye. You can really see into the insides of the parchment. We will simply see much more on those colored images than we have ever been able to see in the past. If you look closely, you'll see that you can actually see the ink underneath. Okay? And these are the kind of new readings that the scholars are really looking forward to. It is hard to believe that NASA has something to do with the technology of this new project. A way to look at the scrolls and to see if there are changes going on is to monitor them with spectral imaging. And that's really the basis for what we're doing. The images and metadata will be uploaded onto a dedicated website. It's not only preservation, it's also exposing the scrolls to the whole world through uh, Google. This then will result in a kind of paradise for the public at large and for scholars. At the archaeological site of Ashkelon, we met the person whose generous support will allow anyone in the world to read the scrolls. Spectral imaging will yield new readings of the text that will assist scholars to further their research. I am thrilled that we could do this, absolutely thrilled, yes. And I always was worried that these things were hidden in drawers and the world wasn't seeing them, and now they can. This cutting-edge technology will showcase the oldest known copies of scripture to the whole world. We will have the possibility of making searches and all this freely available on the internet. Truly a brave new world for all those interested in the Dead Sea Scrolls.